Today I'm gonna make the Gyudon Bento from Demon Slayer Mugen Train for this guy because he keeps... He keeps... Gyudon is a very simple recipe to put together. You're going to need a bunch of white onions sliced into not super thin slices like we normally do, but something a bit more thick so it holds up when we cook it in the teriyaki sauce. Once you get all of your onions sliced, make sure that these are all around the same size, but it doesn't have to be super accurate. Place them into whatever bowl you want, and that bowl is obviously not going to- why are you just shoving it in there? This is what you get. This is what you get for using this bowl. After your onions are done, we're going to work on the teriyaki sauce. For the teriyaki sauce, I'm using 200 milliliters of soy sauce, 50 grams worth of sugar, 50 milliliters worth of sake, and five Finally, 50 milliliters worth of meat in. Give this a quick stir, and these are the only ingredients you're going to need for your teriyaki sauce. Now bring this over to your stove, or bring your stove over to you, and heat this up just until all the sugar starts to dissolve. Once it's come up to that boil, immediately turn it off and remove it from the heat. We do need to cool this down, but make sure you do give it a taste when it's completely boiling hot again. You do this all the time. Why do you do this? <clears throat> Oh my. After that horrible bit of voice acting, make sure you do cool this down completely. Now for the tofu. I'm using medium tofu, but firm tofu also works really well here. We're going to slice our tofu into quarters. So start off by slicing it into half first, getting you this thick boy, then slice each of those halves in half one more time to give you four total pieces. The reason why we're cutting it like this is because we do need to press this tofu to remove any excess moisture. If you don't press your tofu and remove any of that excess moisture, you're going to actually break apart this tofu while you try to cook it. Lay it onto some paper towels, place it onto a sheet tray, and then find something to weigh it down. Do you not do you not have anything to weigh it down? You have so many things. That's a round cast iron going into a square slash rectangular pan, Paul. That doesn't, it, you can't just rotate it. It doesn't work that way. There you go. Find something square, place it on top, and then weigh that down with something else. Let this sit for about one hour just to make sure all that excess moisture is removed. While the tofu is being pressed, we're going to prep some green onions for garnish, and I'm using way too many green onions here because I just love green onions. Why onions? Why do you do this to me? Not okay. After slicing up all of your green onions, place them into a container for safekeeping. Sear the tofu, make some gyudon. The rice is ready. The rice is always ready. Grab yourself a big pan. Sorry. Yeah, you deserve that. And we're going to sear off our pressed tofu. Now that our tofu is somewhat more dry, it's going to be a lot easier to work with. I'm going to be searing this off in sesame oil to give it a really nice nuttiness and to also give it some of that color that we saw in the anime. Give yourself a little shimmy because this is going to be good. I'm really excited about this. I love this dish, especially with the scorpion salt. Now season your tofu with just a pinch of salt and get that pan to a medium high heat. We don't want this too high because the sesame oil can burn, but we want it high enough to start getting a nice sizzle on that tofu. Make sure you do poke these around a bit, trying to get some color on the bottom of that tofu. We're trying to give them a nice sear, and to get a nice sear, you actually need flame. Paul, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure you're running out of butane, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Uh, I ran out of gas. You use a regular stove. Tried to be fancy. Should have bought more gas. Now back over to the regular stove where gas exists. Continue searing your tofu until you get slight g bad on each of those sides. Remember, we're not trying to get too much color on this tofu. Also be very gentle with this because the medium style tofu does break apart very easily if you're not careful. But once you have that beautiful color on each side, your tofu is ready to go. Now additionally, I do like to let this rest on another thing of paper towels just so that way any excess oil is drained out. Your tofu is beautiful and ready to eat. Now for a typical gyudon, you want to find this super thinly sliced beef. You can usually find this at any like Asian or Japanese grocery store. If you can't find anything like this, the easiest way is to freeze a thicker cut of meat, something a little bit fatty like a ribeye or New York is really nice, or you can even use something like a sirloin. Get it semi-frozen and then slice it super thin yourself and it's gonna work out just as well. Gyudon, gyudon in the house. As you can tell, he's really excited about gyudon. Now in a large saute pan, add 100 milliliters worth of dashi or chicken stock, followed by 100 milliliters worth of your teriyaki sauce we made, and then a good handful of your onions. We're gonna cook the onions at a light simmer until the onions are slightly tender. Once they're tender, add in your beef, and I like to try to make sure I add in a good amount of beef. <laughs> Donde esta la biblioteca? I'm not quite sure why he's looking for a library inside of the cabinets, but your beef only needs a few minutes to cook in that sauce. I ended up cooking mine for about five to six minutes, and it came out beautifully. Yeah, yeah, baby. Let's plate this guy up. Now, I do have two bento boxes. Couldn't find 15 of them. I did count. There was probably more in that bag, but I got two. This is the face that you make when you forget the egg. Now, before we plate this up, I almost forgot the soft boiled egg. How could I forget the egg. The egg is absolutely crucial to this because eggs are amazing. So we ended up just boiling two eggs for seven minutes and placing it into an ice bath. Now we get to plate up the gyudon. It'd be like a minute on the eggs. We can do everything else, right? Now you absolutely do not have to plate these up into a bento box if you don't have one. Feel free to just plate this up into a bowl and go in on it. I'm using around 150 grams of rice per bento box. Again, you don't really have to measure this out, but I'm just doing this to keep it consistent. Once I have my rice nicely evenly coated on the bottom on both of my bentos, this is when I'm going to layer the gyudon on one half of that bento. This way I'll have room for the other stuff on the other half. Take one slice of your tofu, cut it in half, and 
layer it towards the top. This way you'll have a nice even split of your toppings plus your beef and your rice. Garnish it with a bit of bamboo shoots followed by this red pickled ginger. This ginger is slightly different than the ginger I would use for sushi and I highly recommend using this for gyudon. Finally, we're gonna take one egg, cutting it in half. This way each of those bentos will get a half an egg. Once you get your egg nicely placed on each part, garnish it with some green onions. And there it is, Ren Goku's absolutely favorite bento from Demon Slayer, Mugen Train. Now in all honesty, the, the longest part of this was actually pressing that tofu. So if you skip that, making the beef and the rice and everything, it should only take a couple of minutes. Now I did promise you guys, something special. That something special is scorpion salt. I found this at my local salt and chocolate shop called Meadow out here in Portland and this stuff is amazing. And because it is Rengoku Flame Hashira, we have to use scorpion salt. This stuff is so incredibly spicy that I am only putting on this much salt. How much salt this is, it's so little, but it adds so much a little bit in a very concentrated area. It adds so much flavor. So we're just gonna do one of these, get some scorpion salt on that gyudon. It'll help actually balance out some of the sweetness and saltiness. It's gonna be amazing. Oh, I found the pocket of chili. It's good, a little spicy, but it's so good. Salty, sweet, spicy. Oh, it makes you wanna eat more. The beef itself, super flavorful. The pressed sesame tofu, that's the perfect combo right there. This is so easy to make. You can honestly make 10 of these for meal prep and enjoy them throughout the week. Probably what I'm gonna do because I bought way too much beef. Before I take another bite of this, I want one of you guys to claim this gift card code to Funimation.com. It's a little thank you to all of you guys. One of you lucky winners will be able to enter this code in, get that gift card, watch Demon Slayer, watch Mugen Train, just buy a figurine, whatever you want, enjoy it. Just like you should enjoy ChefPK.com for this recipe, so much more. Check us over on Patreon. My name is Chef PK. get subscribed. Remember, Keep playing through food. Yeah.